In the video I did called, Does Gear Really Matter?, I used a search bar. Well, I had a viewer say, hey, how did you do that? So in this video, I want to show you how easy it was to create this search bar I used in the video. Okay, so let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how easy it is to make a, a search bar. Now, there's a couple of plugins I use. Uh, almost everything I use is from Motion VFX. There's a link down in the description. They are literally, you, you can drop them in, you can customize them. It is very, very cool. So the one that I used in this video is called Search Bar. So if I just drop it down here, and I, this is just a video I did for something else. So right now, if you notice, if I just play it, that's what it comes up as, how to edit 4K video. So that's just the one it's, it, that's in there. But you can say whatever you want. So what if I change this to how to make a search bar, right? And if you notice right here, I can move this wherever I want. So you, even though it defaults kind of center of the screen, bring it down here. You can change the font. I end up using uh, Roboto a lot. Uh, let's just use that uh, medium. Again, it, these a lot of these come with it, so it doesn't matter. But you can do different things, like you can scale it. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. But now watch this. It's going to animate on and off, and it defaults at 10 seconds, but I'll show you something here. So, comes on. That's really cool. So now it's going to do its thing, but since it defaults at 10 seconds, it goes away. So, what if you think that's too long? Just grab it like this and drag it back. So we're gonna make it five seconds. And watch this, that's a little under five, but you get the idea. It comes on. Now it makes everything faster, but that's how easy it is to do. Now, that's the one I used in the video, but I wanna show you another one. And by the way, this comes from MTuber. It comes from Motion VFX, but it's called MTuber. But there's another one, MTuber 2. And this is, is called bar. Oops, I double clicked it twice. Let's hear it. So this is what it looks like before we customize it. Oh, how sneaky of them to put that in there. But it works the same way. So you're going to open your your uh, the T window over here. And you can take this out. And we can change it. Now, this is going to animate differently, right? But we're just going to say how to create a search bar, right? Same thing. Now it says Roboto because I've already changed that, but let's just say you wanted to change it to prompt. Again, you can change it to anything you want. You can move it around. So right now it's coming in right there. Now that's the size it defaults at. And again, I think it stays up at 10 seconds. It's pretty cool, but I'm just going to stop this. You got the idea. But if you notice right here, it says lower third. I can change this to a title. Oh! Oh, look at that. It made it bigger. Now, again, this, this reads a little different than the other one, but it gives you another option. And 10 seconds, if that's too long, all you got to do is we're going to make this shorter. We can drag it down. I'm going to make it five something just to show you, and I'll play it right now. I'm a huge Motion VFX fan. In fact, it is my go-to source for my plugins, my templates, my animations. So if you want to check it out, there's a link down in the description. They've got tons of stuff. They're running sales all the time. Really, really check it out. Let me know what you think, and let me know if you've seen any other effects I've used maybe in a video, and I can try and whip up one of them videos for you. Hey, I'm Kevin Colby. Keep using your gifts so you make an impact in the world. I'll see you in the next video.